All right, we are back. We're back again. Back, back. And, back again, again. For the second time today. Again, again. It's, it's our second live today. The first one had no audio, so hopefully we'll remember to go back and delete that part of it. If not, then I'm sure we'll get comments that say, uh, the beginning of the video doesn't have any audio. And I'll be like, oh, crud, I need to go back and fix that. So anyway, I, gotta, I can't leave this part out. It's just for Liz. Hey, guys. All right, now we can move on. <laughs> All right. What are we doing on. today, Denny? Well, <clears throat> last week we started, a, we built a gun scabbard for a lever action rifle, a small lever action rifle. I assume it's this one? Yes, it's that one. And uh, we used uh, our import saddle skirting on it. And I want you guys to look at the color that came out of just the oil finish on it. Yeah, let's see what maybe a camera three looks like. I don't know how zoomed in we are. Yeah. Boy, it turned out a beautiful golden color just from an oil finish. You just neat foot oil that? Yeah, just neat foot oil is all I did to it. It looks really good. Yeah. But anyway, today we're going to do another rifle scabbard, but this one's going to be for a scoped rifle, and it's a little more involved. Uh, not more parts, just a little more involved with parts that we have. Uh, I see we got an extra little... Yeah, this little flap here is, that's the main thing that makes it fit a, a scope oh, okay. rifle. Hang on, Nick, uh, I'll have to fix your picture in picture. But anyway, uh, the pattern looks just like what I've got cut out here. It's got this little uh, tongue here on it. But when this folds over, this little tongue goes like this and it makes the makes the scabbard itself take a little dip and a bulge right there for the scope. And that's the kicker. That's the hard part. Uh, I've taken the liberty. I've already cut this out. I showed you guys how I cut the other one out last week, so I didn't go over that again. And uh, I've uh, grooved the stitch line on it. Uh, and this little tongue here, I'm, I'm going to have to hand stitch this on. So I've already marked the stitches and, and poked the holes in this part. Uh, but the uh, first thing we have to do is that we have to twist this and glue this down here. And that's the hard part. So what I'm going to do is uh, spread the glue on it. And then I'm going to use a couple of nails, which are going to be hidden. I'm, I'm going to pull the nails out after I get it stitched. But I'm going to use a couple of nails here just to hold it this way until I get it glued good. But uh, anyway... Here I go with any, the glue. Do you need any paper? Uh, I don't think so. Here, look, I got a long, look at this long skinny piece here. Oh, how wonderful is that? <laughs> it's going to protect our table. Yeah. Let me hold your flap out of the way. Yeah, hold my okay. flap. <laughs> but I might even uh, put so two, I did two see, layers of cement on this. I see you used your rougher on this part because we were on the... Uh, on the smooth side on of the leather. On the smooth leather. side of it? Yes. And this, this part here, I mean, it, there's going to be a lot of tension on this until we get it stitched, so I'm going to yeah. put a double coat of cement on it. Are we using that same side uh, that we did the same uh, the other time? Yeah, I cut both of these out of the, the same side of leather. The number on that's 1985-01. I believe that's the right number that, that it was. 1985 dash 01. $80? Is it still $80? I believe so. I don't know. I guess if somebody tells me I don't I'm think wrong. it's changed. Yeah. We had, did you know we have some other imports? Uh, veg sides out there that were $45. They were smaller. They were like a double shoulders, like 45 bucks on them. Yeah, they weren't this heavy, though. No, they, they weren't. weren't this skirting. No, I would agree with that. Uh -oh. I'm just going to dry this thing up here. So I can turn it over and put a coat on the other side. Can we use our gun as a paperweight? That would be good. Okay, now let's turn it over. Look at that, we glued our paper to our. Yeah. That's cute. Now we'll cement to it. Yeah. Nice piece of paper, Tony. I look, it's like good it was choice. cut for yeah. cut for it. Made just for us. I picked it up off the floor, so I mean, I'm sure it was for something else, but yeah. <laughs> we can we, pretend. We've used it. I was saving that. What? I was saving that piece of paper. Oh, that was Chad's piece of paper. We'll have to oh. cut him a new one. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> Did you skive this? 
Yes, I skied uh, this down to make it a bit thinner okay. because it folds over. You guys will see the reason that I skived it here in a little bit when I go to actually stick it together. You want to put another coat on it? Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'm going to turn it over. What, well, do you want to put it. another coat on that side before? Well, no. Oh, okay. Let's let it uh, tack up just a little bit more. Get more tacky. Yeah. Mid-80s today, says Don in wow. sunny California. Wow. I hope he likes it out there. The weather's nice. Something only nice thing you have to say. I don't know. I've never been to California. I can't comment too much on it. You've never been to California? On purpose. In your whole life? It, in all of my years of living, I have not been to California. So, the farthest I've been is to the west side of Colorado, down at the Four Corners, uh -huh. over by Telluride. That's very nice over there. That's as far oh. west as I have been. So you have no uh, no experience to draw from. As, I cannot, as... I cannot um, have an educated comment about how California is in person. So all you can have is just an ignorant comment. Yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, most of my comments anyway. <laughs> if anybody's curious, that's Denny's burn for the day. <laughs> Michael said he got his catalog yesterday. We got catalogs going out. All right. So glad everybody's getting it. I got one back here that I'm going to send off to somebody. Before skirting the back of this is really pretty nice. It's very nice. Uh, you know, if I was if I was going to make a rough out saddle mm -hmm. and uh, didn't want to spend much money on it, this I would use this skirting. It's it's nice stuff. Yeah, and it, especially for the rough out side. I mean, that's and they were sides. Would you look. still be able to make a whole saddle out of two sides? Yeah, you, you might need three. Yeah, but still, uh, if you if you bought Herman Oaks at sides of uh, saddle skirting they're what two hundred and fifty dollars a side something in that area yeah. these are eighty dollars a side three times so, eight so you've got to uh, three sides of leather for the price of one side of herman oak herman oak yeah so it would be a, a and pretty good bargain yeah and it finishes up pretty nice with some yes, oil it does okay now i told you i'm going to use some nails to stick this down i'm going to start a nail right here in your stitch groove, in your groove that yeah, you made? Okay. Yeah, because I am going to stitch right there. All right. And I think I'm going to start one more. Let's see how far down this goes. Yeah. I'm trying not to rip your tail off, start. but also <laughs> hold it out of the way. There you go. Okay. Now, this is the wrestling match part right here. If you can... Kind of push down on that, Tony. Yeah, I'm gonna get my fingers out of the way. I saw you hit that last nail. I, oh my goodness! Hit the metal nail, not my fingernail. Wrong nail. Right? Wrong nail. Denny's hitting nails, but just not the right ones. You're doing just fine, Denny. <laughs> okay. Now I've got that down, but I'm not gonna stick this together yet. I'm gonna put some hand stitches in this just to hold it until. Uh, well, we're just using rather s smooth shank nails, nothing yeah. special. Yeah, just a Pic tack. These are tacks, they're coming out. Yeah, picture hanging nails, something like that. Yeah. All right, and this is just a piece of thread that I put together so I didn't have to do it in front of the camera. 
Now I've got this stitching all here. That's really good leather. <laughs> That's tough stuff. Strong. enough. I've got enough. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> well, I didn't want to make two threads, so I just made one long one. All right. Now I'm going to go back up here and do that again. Picking on what? Yeah. Oh, Chevy always picks on me. Everybody always picks on me. You're an easy mark, Tony. Yeah. Appreciate that, Denny. <laughs> There's another Denny. <laughs> Actually. Now what have what you done? What have I done? I know exactly what you did. You did whatever... Well, what I always do when I drop my needles. Mm -hmm. You're wrapped around your leg of your... You guys, this isn't this complicated. Yeah. Uh if, we, if it's easy, we can make it look as hard as possible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Now then. Now you're going in the right direction. When you're hand stitching, do you always go on the same top side first or bottom side first? Uh, or does it doesn't make... matter as long as you do it the same way every time. So if you start on the top side, always run on your top yeah. stitch first. But I'm not going to take too much care. In, in this mm -hmm. because it's going to be hidden. This is just, I'm just doing this to hold this in place till I can get the rest of it glued down. So your nails are holding it so that your hand stitch can hold it. Right. And I'm then, gonna, as soon as I get, I think I'm going to take the nails out as soon as I get this one stitch in. Short tail, tail leathers here to say hi. Well, hello. Backstitch here, Tony. Razor blade said you nailed it. I nailed it. <laughs> All right. All right. Now I think we got a belt working up for him, don't we? Uh, we do. Abigail. We are. Uh, doing a video the other day, and she's. Oops, I broke that. Yeah, well, now you're going to need two friends. That's all right. I don't need to redo it. She was missing you. You weren't back at your table, and I said, Well, then he's never here on a Tuesday. <laughs> so I don't know why you thought you were going to see him. All uh, right, now I'm going to pull these two nails out. And then. Line there. I'm going to try and stick this together on this line. All right, see what we've got here? See this pucker that we have? That's what we want. But okay. this is going to this is going to cover all that stuff up. When so you had it. made an extra line where that where this leather was going to. I don't know if you can see it there or not. Oh yeah, you can see it there. So you just ran your outside of your leather that other one folded over just to right there. Right. All right. right. And if we turn this over, I had this piece, this side, I had skived this mm -hmm. down a bit so it's not quite so thick on the edge. You don't have to skive it down, but you'll have a real thick, blunt edge there if you don't. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to take this to the machine and stitch the rest of this. Did you hear that, Abigail? 
We'll get that camera switched around over there. Yeah. Do you need a stool? Yeah. Okay, I'll bring one for you. You got enough room there? I believe so. I don't know. We'll see. Where I, sit down. I might have to turn it just a bit. Hold on. How you feeling about that situation? I think this will work. So I think I'll probably have to move this camera over this way, and then when you go back through, we'll have to move it out of your way so you can get back to the table. Okay. All right. I think we're good. We're good? I think so. Okay. This is that same class three that we used last week. The hard part of this is staying out of your own way. Do you mean move that table a little bit? Do you need? Well, I think it's okay. Light's probably going to get in your way, though. Maybe not. Maybe. Hey, Holly. Yeah. Can you? I just want you to kick the camera. Or step on the cord and unplug it. Can you move that uh, umbrella back a little bit? Yeah, just towards the next desk. Yeah. And then turn it. Turn it. Yeah, just turn the light part of it. There you go. I think that'll be out of your way, Denny. Did you get it? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was adjusting them. I did backstage. Oh, good. <laughs> I always worry about that. Hey, Jeff, good to see you. Uh oh. Break a needle? Mm, no, but I did have a malfunction here. Which I need to alleviate. Didn't hold on to my oh, your top, top stitch. When I started. Actually, I did, but I didn't hold on to Not long enough. <laughs> we need uh, that all for a record. Yeah. So we're just going to pull those stitches out that we had put put in. Start over. And we're going to start back over. Make sure to hold our top thread and. Back stitch. That's a lot of question marks there, Frank. I would assume that we are using 207 on the top thread and 138 on the bottom. Yes, that's the same as we did on the other one. And I Still the natural thread, and we're sewing on a class three. Class three, yes. There again, you guys, I'm making this as hard as I can. Yeah. Because I don't want you to think this is simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's start over. Oh, you may have to change your needle out. Looks bad. Looks a little bad. I think you're right. Yeah, it looks, looks like I've been stitching on it. <laughs> Better yet, I've been. <laughs> Not being all that bad. Uh, uh No, it just looks like a horseshoe. <laughs> is that what they call those hook needles? <laughs> it is now, yes. Let's see, this was a 23. 23, and I probably don't have one. A 23 diamond point. 21. I'm going to have to go out. Have you run out, Nanny? I need to go get a 23. All right. I'll be right back, folks. Well, I suppose we'll just wait here while you go. Well, you all come with me. <laughs> well, I can't carry a camera, but I guess we could all just leave the room and just be quiet in here with everybody. I wonder if Denny was a Boy Scout. Oh, for sure, I bet. He has forgot the first law. Always be prepared. <laughs> Dad gummit. 
I mean, he was prepared, just not for the right needle. <laughs> you know, him over there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I bet you I can bend this one back into shape. Won't hurt it at all. Might hurt my finger when I stab it through my finger. Hmm. Rest in peace, needle. I got it a little bit. Look at the hook on that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Switch that overhead camera. Just a slight bow. <laughs> Put a piece of paper up next to it. Yeah. I don't know if I can hold it in my hand. It doesn't look very curved anymore. Huh? It doesn't look very curved anymore. Well, let me hold it up to a straight needle. How about that? Yeah. How to make a 30 minute video into an hour 101. That's your job, Tony. Denny can't do everything. <laughs> sure he can. <laughs> Let's not know. Let's call Charlie. Charlie? 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 Chevy? Sorry, Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. That's your name. A limited edition uh, 6085 from Marlin Firearms. I assume that was the question of what kind of rig, <laughs> the rifle. He is very curious. It's a great name for you. Keep doing what you're doing, Tony. You're getting more people in there. Oh, good. I'm just standing around looking pretty. <laughs> There's one thing I can do right. It's do nothing. <laughs> Got many years of practice of just screwing off. Hey, look at this cool bag. I think we may end up doing a video when we get back to that. You switch to the overhead there, Nick. Kind of a fun little bag. I think we posted, somebody had posted or shared us in uh, um, an Instagram post or something like that. So then we tried to replicate it. Pretty cool. It's like a Slytherin bag. I mean, we made it. Uh, like a bag. It's got a liner in it. Canvas. Canvas liner. It looks like the camera doesn't want to focus on it. That's what it looks like. Nothing. Just lined. Thanks, Chad. I didn't make it, but... Alright, back to the sewing machine. Did you find a straight one? <laughs> I tried to get this one bent. Oh, good. I tried to get this one bent back into shape, but it wasn't working out. Generally doesn't. I've sharpened them before, but I've never straightened one before. Yeah, well, you would have to sharpen this one as well because you have obliterated the point on it. It's funny how you know a little burr on something will catch it, and you find find you having all sorts of little issues. You wouldn't think a little bitty burr would do something like that, but. They have a keen way of just making you mad. Uh-oh. Michael, I know your heartache. What uh, happened? He stabbed his all through his toe last night. Oh. Yes, and you've done that before, haven't you? Yeah. Dropped it. Dropped it. He was probably actually doing work with his where I was... Well, I was also working, but he was using it as he stabbed himself, I would imagine. Uh, uh oh, looks like our camera got kicked. I might have moved a little bit. That gum it anyhow, Denny. How much? How you mean hold it up in the air, Holly? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Don't forget to hold your top thread this time. I did. I just keep on holding on to it the whole time through. I can't. Got a back stitch. You want me to hold on to I it? I already did back stitch. Oh, okay, good. You want me to hold on to it? No. <laughs> he said, leave me alone. That's what I want. Done messed it up once. Let me stitch this up. Now we're cooking.
Man, that lays down a pretty stitch, especially when you put a groove in there like that. Okay, you watch what you're doing, I'm watching the other part. You don't have to talk to me, you can just focus. Oh, shoot. I wonder if Clayton was here. I haven't seen him. Dadgummit. I wonder if Anderson can tell us what foot that is. Do you need a back stitch there? No. Okay. I do not because I overstitched it. Uh, here, I took your clippers away. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. All right, now back over here. Please. Okay. That was a harrowing experience, you guys. Yep. I told him. Is that a good word? Harrowing, harrowing it works. I think it. How to make leather projects look harder than they actually are. Just watch me. Yeah. You know why I, I do it with the... Uh, because it hurts your thumb. I burn the hell makes out of my... You, makes you scream. <laughs> yeah, look at, that, look at that spot on my hand. That was yep. from melting threads. All right, you guys, now we've got that stitched, and the way we're going to turn this is like this, and if you will notice, this is really stiff, so the way I'm going to fix that, hopefully, with a little bit of agua, I'm going to wet the inside of it. Hopefully now, since you're doing the inside of it and you're just wetting part of it, it won't affect the outside shouldn't, of it. Shouldn't. Now, if you wet the outside of it, would you have had to wet the whole thing? Yeah. But I just want to relax that one part there. Oh. Can I relax mine? You can relax your parts. <laughs> Pull this stool up over here. I lay for a couple of minutes and nothing you guys are talking about. Sitting down? Yeah. I was getting tired. Danny's trying to work me hard. It's hot in here. Holly tried to say that earlier. She tried to, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, and then he kept denying it. Well, what were you just doing? What were you just doing? Were yeah. You she okay. said she ran to the store and got a piece of pizza. I said, well, that was the problem you were running. That's why you got tired. It was a blueberry muffin. Oh, okay. All right. Now what do you mean do? I feel like well, I need to do something. No, you don't. Okay, I, good. What I need is something to mark with. I'm going to dry up your water here, though. Thank you. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Mark this. Just so you know where to put some glue down. Yeah. I'm, oh, okay. I'm gonna scratch this and, and glue it. Same with this other side. I think the hardest part of this job is putting up with me and trying to do it at the same well, time. Well, yeah. that's okay. Every, I said you can agree. The thing is, people are gonna say, "Well, how did you do that?" Everything is not cut and dried. You do whatever you've got to do to do something like this. And, yeah, like and most of it is wrestle it around. Wrestle it around. Yep. So now we're gonna rasp rasp this, this a little bit. Well, I don't know what you can see with the camera. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of scratching it. We'll show you the overhead when we get done here. All I need to do is get it. So we just scratched it just a little bit on the outside. I don't know, switch that top view there. So we got a little marks there, we got a little scratches on there. All right. I'm gonna try and not get this outside my lines. You can always peel this cement off, but on a vegetable tan leather, a raw leather, a lot of times it, it will kind of discolor it a little bit where you oil it. I really like how that groove looks. Yeah. Putting your stitch in the groove. It does. It makes it look good. Plus, it it's contributes tremendously to the wear factor. I'm proud of you, Denny. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Why are you proud of me today? 
just doing great things today. You had it all prepped up. You were just ready to roll. Well, so far, I've been ready to roll. Now I've still got to hand stitch this. Dean, that glue pot is a TS boy or a variation of the TS boy. Okay, I'm going to have to move the machine here. I might as well do that and get the stitching horse over there. Oh, is gonna... that what you want to do or do you want to move the camera? Are you good with stitching right there where the sword sits? Yeah, well, I think. Okay, well, you just get, you get, get set up over there where you want to be for that. And I'll just move the camera. Is that where you want to ride your pony? This, yeah, this that is works where I great for this horse. <laughs> looks great to me. You're facing the microphone, so I'll still be able to hear you. Do you want me to hand you that over there? Uh, I might want to put one more thing of glue on there. Let me... I bet you I can dry just as fast as that hair dryer. I bet you can. <laughs> you got hot air, but not that much. <laughs> Get us another coat on there. So scratching it up like that, does that let that glue get down into the fibers of the leather uh, a little bit better? Yes, yes, that's exactly what it does. It, it gives the cement something to get a hold of. Yeah. It's just like paint. If you try to paint a really smooth surface, it'll peel off nine times out of ten, no matter what kind of preparation you do to it. I mean, they say you can wipe vinegar or whatever on, on a surface and it'll get mm -hmm. the paint to stick better, but if it's real slick, it nothing's going to hold it. There's nothing yeah. to hold it. Switch to three there, Nick. Let me move that. I think that's going to be all right. Can you all see what I've got? Yeah. Nice and stuck down. Yeah. And I'm going to start over. This is the finished side, the one with the loop holes and the, and the stitch line cut in it. So I'm gonna start over here and end up on the That way back your back side. stitch is on the yes. back side. Right. Alright. Yeah. You're gonna have to find you a let me get over here. You're gonna tie your needles back together? Yeah. And then just put your knot on the inside? Mm-hmm. That's pretty good thinking. And I already punched the holes in one side of this, in the, that little tongue side. Mm -hmm. So all I've got to go through is the actual scabbard side. If I got you to turn a little bit more, would you hate me? Which way? Uh, bring... No, no, turn your... There you go. Like that, yeah. That'd be great. I'm glad it works so well for you. Alright. Let's see.
Just remind me to switch that back. <laughs> switch that back. This is a lot quieter than that sewing machine. <laughs> Quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, just tying an overhand knot here. So this is where we broke our thread the last time, right? Yes. Are you looking for those? So where you reattach them, you're just going to pull them back to the middle of those pieces of leather? Yeah, I just tied an overhand knot in each end. Uh-huh, I'm watching. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now I'm going to pull it. See, I just pulled that knot to the center. I think we did that. We talked about uh, splicing, mm -hmm. splicing um, a thread. Yeah, in one of our hand-stitching videos, I remember doing it. Yeah, because we, we had to come back and do it because we forgot how to do it. And by we, I mean you. Yes. Okay, there's, <laughs> there's the Tony burn for the day. <laughs> well, I didn't know how to do it, so I, I had nothing to forget. <laughs> hey, Tori, what size needles? Are you using double aughts? These are, these are no, an aught. Uh, a single aught. A, a single aught. Yeah. This is the smallest needle, and this is, this is a linen thread. John Lennon? John Lennon thread, yeah. yeah. Well, nobody, nobody wanting to watch? Just quiet. Not a lot of chatting, Nick says. <laughs> They're all holding their breath for me. Yeah. Both of them. You think we're going to get this done in one video today? What time is it? I don't know. Daytime? As soon as I can. 11.40. We're just about there. Once you get once you get rolling on here, then we just got a machine stitch around that other outside, mm -hmm. and then we'll, and then we'll have her licked. Trim it up a little. I was just trying to decide what we were going to be doing on Friday. Uh, I probably ought to wait a few minutes. At least, uh, at least twenty of them. See what happens. Yeah. I think we'll probably be far enough along where even if we aren't finished, I can just come back in and show them the finished product. Or they just get the idea. Yeah. Because we pretty much finished the whole other one, and this is this is the important part right here. This is the only thing that's different between the one that we made. Right. Here, I'll just, let me just be quiet and you can listen to Denny Stitch. We'll see if that works. <laughs> Has it not been working? Uh, I'm not very good at being quiet. different ways you can do this uh, this scope part. My apprentice to the saddle maker, he, this is the way he did it and I've always thought it worked really well and it, it makes it really good looking. You'll ever. Al Stolman has a way that he does it which is quite a bit different. He actually puts another piece on top here. This just seems so much neater to me. Yeah, Dean, I don't know if a zipper would work very well on this one. <laughs> I 
You were talking about a shotgun case. Uh huh. Yeah, we had somebody that uh, we did that last um, the video that we did the the other one. Uh huh. That didn't have the uh, scope on it. Mm -hmm. And somebody asked if we would do a uh, shotgun case, so we may have to add that to the schedule later on. And then we'll then we'll made three out of the four that come with it. Yeah. But the only thing that was different on the other scabbard that we did. Uh, was a little cut out for the bolt action. Yeah, and this one you could do the same thing. The rifle uh, that I have here does is a semi-automatic, so it doesn't have the bolt on it, so I didn't cut that out. And a lot of times that slot, you want to wait till after you've got the scabbard built for a specific gun, because sometimes the bolt won't end up in the same place that it does on it. Other ones. Yeah, the pattern will give you an idea of how to make your bolt shape in, in the end of it. But maybe you have to get your gun and put it in there and mark where you're going to put your bolt. Right. Your bolt, uh, I guess a bolt U. It's about a U that you put in there. Or a slot. slot a yeah. slot for your bolt. Uh, Wayne's got a question for you, Denny. All right. Maybe a dumb question, he thinks. But does linen thread come in different sizes? You know, like the rhino thread we have in 1 and point, point oh 0.08. Uh, actually, as far as hand stitching thread, to my way of thinking, you always want to hand stitch with a wax thread. And this is a, a linen thread that I waxed myself. But if you want to buy a, a already waxed thread, We've got a Niletex thread, which is pretty heavy. You would probably want to use a double lock needle with it. Or I like the uh, the awl thread, which which is a pretty fine thread compared to the Niletex. Mm -hmm. But it's about the same as what I'm using here. What's the difference between a linen thread and a cotton thread? Linen is a different material. Cotton. Cotton will actually rot over over time. It will actually deteriorate. Mm -hmm. And linen, if it's waxed, linen will last indefinitely. I worked on lots of saddles, a hundred years old, that were stitched with linen thread. Did you make stitched, them? Not, no, not those. <laughs> I made other hundred year old saddles. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it will last well if it's if it's waxed. You know, big beeswax. Shoot, they found beeswax in the uh, Egyptian tombs. Yeah, in the in the pyramids or yeah. their sarcophagus. Yeah, I know big words too, Denny. <laughs> uh, Chad, uh, going to be a student of yours. Excited to come over Saturday for the advanced tooling class. All right. Yeah. I had one. I, I had to. Five students that were signed up for that class. And one of them called up this morning and she was sick, so she's not coming. Well, that's polite of her to. Yeah. It's always nice to be notified. Yeah. Before and, so, and, and instead, instead of after. Of after. Yeah. <laughs> Michael says he's doing a shotgun case right now, a slow process. If I remember right, I think he said he was going to do a fully tooled one. Uh, are you doing it out of the from the pattern pack that we have, or are you making your own pattern? You know how to make a, sh a fully tooled shotgun case faster? Have someone else do it. <laughs> <laughs> get a small shotgun. Yeah, get a small <laughs> shotgun. Sawed <laughs> <Sort> off shotgun. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't tell anybody about that though. We were talking about the other day that you thought somebody actually liked you. And we got Ron up here, Denny. He says, it's always a pleasure to watch a true craftsman. <laughs> well, thank you, Ron. You've got many fans out there. I don't think we could fit all of them in this one room. We can't even fit them in a video. That's why we leave them on so they can come and see whenever they need to. <laughs> Michael Seeger says, hand sewing says continuous waxed thread. Others do not say continuous. Is that just a marketing 
continuous wax thread. I would hope. I'm not sure. I haven't heard that. I don't know. Hopefully, all your thread that you get that's waxed is continually waxed and not just waxed on one part of it. Yeah. Like you know, the old timers always used linen thread because they didn't have a, a, a synthetic thread. You know, back in the older days. But uh, they always wax their own thread with with beeswax. When I first started uh, hand sewing, I was doing it with uh, waxing it myself. Mm -hmm. So you can really understand what kind of wax content you you might like on your thread whenever you start buying a hand stitching thread that's pre-waxed. And the reason you want to use a wax thread, or that I want to use a wax thread when I'm hand stitching, is uh, for one thing, it's easier to handle. Uh, and for another thing, when you pull your stitches tight, they will stay tight. They, they grab on each other. Yeah. yeah. If you ever use a non-wax thread, you will understand immediately what what I'm saying there. When your stitches all start pulling back up, well, yeah. as you're trying when to go along. You've got a, Every time you pull a stitch, you're trying to tighten up about five behind you. Yeah, I know. And then that sixth one gets loose, and yeah. you can't get it to pull. I think, I think we we're going to make an item number for that poster. Idaho Cowgirl was talking about a poster that she got. I would tell you what it says, Denny, but I don't remember. Yeah, if Chad holds it up, I can probably read it. Uh, yeah, I can put it on camera once Denny gets done stitching. Hello? It says, Leather crafters who do precision guesswork based on unreliable data provided by those of questionable knowledge. <laughs> that is nothing truer than this video right now. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> so we got, it's just a blue, blue, yellow, and white um, poster. I think we're making, are we making an item number for that, Chad? Yeah. We sent them out in a, we sent them out in some live shopping orders. I bet you, uh, I'll send somebody an email now. I'd say we'd send them out in the live orders again, but I, I don't remember who got them the last time, so then I would send you two or three of them, and then you just get all piled up on them, and I don't want to clutter up somebody's house. I think the plan was sell them on retail. Yeah. It's almost therapeutic watching your fish. Mm -hmm. Especially when Tony's quiet. <laughs> I'm getting there, you guys. The little engine that could chug a chug a chug. <laughs> you guys are going to make these to make money. You probably ought to charge more for this than you do the plane scabbard. The scope ones? Yeah. I just don't know that there's any way you could sew that on a sewing machine. Yeah. Well, I guess if you had a long throw. Not well. You couldn't sew it well. Yeah, because it's not going to lay real flat. Another thing, a lighter weight leather mm -hmm. would definitely be easier to work with, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't end up with as nice a product. It's definitely not as sturdy. Michael said, once he gets a, his SLC shotgun case done, he will send us a picture. I hope so. Charles says hello to you. I did. I replied to him. Oh, okay. I still, I was hoping that he was going to buy something on the live shopping so I could send him this, uh, this gift I have for him, but mm. I may just have to look and see when he has his next order and throw it in that. Tangled Up Leather said it's finally warm enough in their workshop to function. <laughs> you won't freeze your fingers. I think, she, I think she lives in cheese country. Cheese country? Yeah. That would be cold country. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think we're, let's see, it's 55 degrees outside. It was it was really warm yesterday. All the snow that we had just dang near all melted now. Thank goodness. We, I think we ended up with, what they say, nine and a half inches or somewhere around them parts. Mm -hmm. It's the most snow we've had here in a little while. Several years. Mm -hmm. yep. The old persimmons were right. What did this persimmon say? They said spoons. Yeah, you've seen that trick. You're old enough no. to know that, aren't you? What is it? When you cut up on the persimmons, whether you get a fork or a spoon. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Okay. Don't try to start making me sound old all by myself. <laughs> You're the one with all the gray hair. <laughs> is that gray? Yeah, well, I mean, it's maybe it's, it's a cut. silver. Yeah. <laughs> It'll light tan. <laughs> Uh, Denny, have you ever used Ritza Tiger Thread? Have you used that I Tiger Thread? I have not. I have not. We I've did heard a, raves about it, though. People have raved about it. We used it with, um, we did a project. It wasn't on a video, but we did it with some of the, uh, Rhino Thread and the Tiger Thread together. Some people, some people commented back that they had done it as well, and some like the tiger thread better. Some like the rhino thread better. Everybody has a personal preference. That's why there's so many things out there for you to be able to try. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. Have you ever made a chest holter, holster? You've never made a chest holster, no, have you? No, I haven't. But yeah. uh, we've been talking about that, too. I think, Frank, I think Frank's asked about that the last video. We talked about we'll have to, have to do, do, we have one, don't we? I don't believe so. I may be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. I think I looked the last time and I didn't see one either. Maybe it's like an under the arm one is what we have. Yeah, a shoulder holster. I made a pattern pack for that. Well, then we probably have that one. Because it fits under your arm. Yeah, is that, where, is that how it goes? Acrylic patterns, then other patterns. Yeah, the shoulder holster, that's the only one that we got. I guess we'll have to come up with a chest harness. I wanted to make one. A lot of those Alaskan guides would use those, you know, with a 44 Magnum on there. Yeah, they got to have them yeah. quick draw, though. The yeah. freaking grizzly bears come out. Yeah. You can't be messing around trying to grab one out of your holster. Reach for your heart because it's probably pounding and grab your 44. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now on the back stitch one, Tony. All right. Joshua says, after the last video, I ordered a skirting side to make two rifle scabbards out of. All right. You didn't know you were a salesman, did you, Denny? Well, I was trying to sell this stuff because I was kind of impressed by it. I didn't, you know, I don't get out to the front very often. You and Liz keep me busy up there at my little spot. Yeah, you come in, prepare for a video. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I was back, I was out there looking around and I saw yeah. this stuff and I thought, man, that's pretty neat stuff. So, yeah, I was a salesman last week. Well, then, I, I was, I'm impressed with the way that it, that it looks when you oiled it up. Yeah, it's, it turns a beautiful color. And that's a lot of the import to tooling leather that we sell is, is fairly white and it doesn't get that golden color when you uh, oil it up. All right, you guys. Well, that's always kind of been the one thing that's that's been with the imports. Usually when you do it, did you poke yourself? Oh yeah, several times. Oh, okay. And if you guys think you won't, you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, but that import usually stays pretty white even after you oil it. Yes. 
it, it'll turn kind of a, a drab color, but this stuff turns a beautiful golden color. All right, now I've made myself one of these little end plugs again. Uh, you remember I did that last week for the other. Do you already cut it? Yes, oh. I cut it and skived it so I wouldn't have to do it today. So, let me find my scratcher again. There it is. I was messing with it. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. Razor Blade likes uh, the synthetic sinew. That's nice. I, I've, I've used sinew a lot. The only thing that I don't like about sinew is it to kind of phrase. It gives you a kind of a ragged look after a little bit of use. But it lasts forever. Mm -hmm. uh, it just doesn't look so pretty after a little bit of use. Hmm. Okay, since you're standing here ready to say something smart aleck to me, you can hold that. I can hold this while I say it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me I see. Here. If we'll what? If we'll split the skirting stuff for it? Uh, yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll split them. If you need it, if you need it split down, you can put it in your customer notes, and we'll contact you if there's a, a fee for it, or um, or if you call in, just say hey, you'd like to get it split. We do have um, splitting fees that are attached to it. Sometimes, sometimes we just take care of it. Depends on who you get to talk to and how, how nice you've been. <laughs> Kindness goes a long way sometimes, Denny. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Depends on how hungry I am when I talk on the phone to you. If I'm hungry, yeah. I'm probably not going to be very nice. Yeah, this is that. probably going to cost you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not true at all. Most times we will split stuff and, and not be too... Uh, antagonistic about it unless you're wanting a whole bunch of stuff split then we we do have to charge you yeah our shop has been more. kind of they've been doing really well back there keeping up with everything and we've made some changes back there and they've been for the better <laughs> you're really wanting to aren't you I'm not going to because it's still wet, and that would not be good for it. I need to wait for a little more tack. Tack, not tacked. Hmm. What leather is this? This is an import skirting, Wayne, and the number on it is 195-1985-0. Zero one. Is it on the website? Did we talk about? Is it on the website? What's the number again? It's nineteen eighty five dash zero one. Go ahead, Denny. Is that picture? Mm -hmm. I was talking. Holly says it is on the website. Give me, a, give me a second and I'll go uh, post the links in all the chats, unless somebody over there wants to. What's wrong, Nick? It died. Oh, yeah, well, it died because Denny unplugged the cord. Oh. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes power jumps, but not so far, especially when it's got to go to a cord. Sorry, you guys. He's not. He's not sorry at all. Oh, hold on, hit that button again. There you go. Uh -oh. Sorry, I need a little more seat out there. Chevy got it in the Twitch. Thanks, Chevy. I'll do it on on YouTube and Facebook for you. Oh, 
Okay. Maybe now. You hold that down for me. What's that line for? Oh, that was your rough cut. Yeah. What happened here? You trying to match those holes up? Oh, no. Okay. I don't know what happened. That was, like, I, like you said, that was just my rough cut. Okay. You want a piece of another leather to I'm beat on it with? Nope, I'm gonna just help it. It helped quite a bit. Not worth a dang. Oh, now it's it did. worth a dang. Now it is. Now it's, that's all right. Okay. That's the way it's gonna be. So that seams on the back side. Yeah. All yeah. right. Now we gotta go okay. back to the sewing machine. Yes. Okay. Let me move this camera again. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'll, I'll get there by the time you do. Unless you drag that machine around there. Right? Well, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I need like that. How you like them apples? I do like apples pretty well. What's your favorite kind of apple, Denny? Uh, to tell you the truth, I really don't know. My wife buys a different kind of apple every time she goes to the store. I like a sweet apple. I don't like them real tart as far as just to eat. Now, did you need a back stitch here? Would you hold that end up? I sure can. I'll be your table. Oh, good. I'm glad you're holding that top thread. Are you happy now? I'm tickled. Okay. Now I got it. Okay. Yeah, is that camera in your way? Uh, I heard. How's that? Did that make things bad? Uh, not that I can't fix. It'll just take me a second. Element of vanity, hello. Yeah, if you call at 2 p.m. to make sure everybody's had lunch, then you should get all the happy people. At least people with full bellies. It's funny how kindness works sometimes. Right there, just a second. Will you switch to the front camera while I'm going to move this camera? Just a second. I want to. I don't want to make people sick. Is that light? Can I move that light? Oh goodness! It looks like I can. Hang on, just a second. Let me move the camera just a little bit more because we're just watching that foot go up and down. I mean, it's cool and all, but <laughs> let's see what happens there. Let's see if we like that better. Where's central time, right? Yep. I don't know if that's any better, but at least it's a different view that we haven't seen. So there's that. We get to see different parts of the machine move. That's cool. Can I give more information about the poster? Uh, it's Blue with white lettering. 12 by 18. It has a border around the outside of it. It's got yellow accents. It does have our logo and a swivel knife and a couple smoothing um, sticks on it. Some rulers, some hides. Probably not the information you're looking for, but uh, Tony is working on it. We are working on it. We'll make a uh, we'll make a Facebook post about it, and we will make a banner 
about it and it will be on the front page of the website and you'll be able to order them. Do we know what kind of price it was going to be on it? Chad says five dollars. Five doll hairs. Jeff Allen says for him, Denny, more tart the better. Sour and tart apple for him. He must like a good Granny Smith or something. Aren't they pretty tart? I don't know. Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Okay. You gonna try to spin that around and come back? Nope. Nope, he says. Um, element of vanity. You know who that is, Tony? On... On Twitch? Uh... Did I mess that up? No, you're good. Oh, hang on just a second. I'll get to that. Okay. I got to figure out my answer. Okay. <laughs> if you forgot to get a catalog, is that was that the question? Yes. If you forgot to get a catalog, you can get signed up. Yep. Yeah, on the front page of the website, go underneath the banners, and you can go to the catalog page. And then you can click uh, order hard copy once you click that rectangle button. And it'll get you on a list and we send out, we send them out weekly. Well, we don't. We have uh, the people that printed the catalog are. But if you had something that happened with your catalog, contact us and we'll, we'll get you one. Angela. Was the name oh, yeah. Victoria. Yeah, Angela Victoria, I believe, on Facebook for the live shopping. Uh, and then if you need to uh, order one with an order that you have, we do have some that are here, and that is 144-2021, I believe is the correct number. A new follow. Who's the new follow? Zaz, welcome to the fun. Making a scoped rifle scabbard here. That's a great angle, Tony. Thanks, Chad. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> or is that a comment? Are you reading comments or are you making oh, them? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chad is at his computer, intrigued. He could watch it live in person, but this view is something he has never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> hey Terry he'll be in sometime to grab his order Terry lives here if you were sick still Terry I would bring you your order again drove over to his house he's like hey my dogs will warn me whenever you get here I'm going to have to cut this thread and start from the other end getting too long well I can't make that turn But it turns out that his dogs were not as good as he thought. I was better. I tried to be as quiet as I could. Charlie says it's Chad certified. Chad certified. <laughs> Mark, we appreciate that. We've been, uh, that's one thing that we pride ourselves on is our customer service. So if there's something that we can do right, at least we can. Be nice as well. Uh oh. I feel like we're about to break a needle. Yeah, I wonder what a needle looks like breaking on camera. Not going to find out yet. Hmm. It's just right there on that little bit of welt that we made, and it's got a little corner with it too, so I think it's trying to push that yeah. needle around a corner. Exactly. Are you saying I'm right, Denny? I'm saying you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance that you could have said, put the words together in a correct pattern. Follow you on the YouTube, but didn't know you have a Twitch. As far as I know, we're the only 
uh, leather supplier that has a twitch. Lil Fear says, would a class 3-4 be too big to sew patches on a biker vest? Not too big, but too big to do. If that was the only thing that you're if that was the only thing that you were doing, you'd be better off with a patch machine or a 26. Sophia says, do you... <laughs> Ambifutrius? <laughs> uh, Sophia says, do you have that sewing machine for sale? We have threes and fours and 26s, all the Cobra machines we have for sale. The, the problem is, is the time frame that it takes to get them at the moment. Our leather machine guide online. Oh, the leather machine guide is online as well, right next to the catalog button on the home page. There is a leather machine guide that's there, and it should be linked. It should be linked to the website as well. So if you find a machine you want, you click on it, it'll take you to the website page on our website of that machine. There is a waiting period for it. Last time we talked to a leather machine company. They were having issues with ships coming in from harbor, or ships coming into the harbor, getting them there. I've always had trouble with my ships never come in. <laughs> ships stay on the outside of the harbor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody wants a little chat approval on their life. <laughs> you don't have to backstitch though, because you can just run this one right on through. They call that a continual stitch instead of a back stitch. I don't know what they call it. We're going to call it that today. We can call it that, yes. We have called it that now. Great continual stitch, Denny. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm glad that's over, you guys. If you ever want to know how nerve-wracking it is to uh, sew and then add another level to it, try to do it live. <laughs> When you've already broke one needle. Well, I guess we didn't break it. We just bent the heck out of it. And by we, I mean Denny. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, don't let that go by. Oh, yeah. The last time we were, Liz and I were doing that Italian veg stuff, and I was gluing over here just as fast as I could so I could keep her at the sewing machine so I didn't have to sew. <laughs> she figured it out, though. But she kept sewing anyhow. Talked to her yesterday. They were they had sent like three pallets of rocks just yesterday. All right. I'm on the home stretch. Let's trim this. All right. You get your board up here. I'll set us up a camera to be able to see you. Do the old blade. Now, you're already bleeding from a needle. Uh -huh. You can switch. Let's not bleed from a round knife, please. You don't want me to? Uh-uh. Let me use this little pattern knife. Now, we talked about this the last time, where you want to get your knife in that board as well. Even though it's a saddle skirting, could it slip? Have you ever had it slip out before? No, because no. I've always been afraid of it. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to be afraid, you guys. It'll hurt to cut yourself with that knife, though. Only for a minute. I mean, it might not hurt because it's so freaking sharp. You might not feel it, but you will bleed. Yeah. You'll feel it tomorrow. Yeah. Class 4 is a great machine. 3s are good. 26s are good. We even had that class seven in here for a little while. Do you see that machine? No, I've never seen it. That I big think, long arm. Yeah, the big machine. long arm that you could sew. I bet you could sew two pair of boots together with it. Wow. Could you make tents and stuff with it? Uh, I no, think it was. I, I think, think it was made the, for like sales, yeah. like for boat sales. 
Don't you know what I forgot to bring in here? A beveler. No. Um, a, ho- a punch. oblong punch. Was yeah. it a three quarter? Yeah. You got one? Off. Uh, yeah, I do. I got one right over at your station. Okay. <laughs> well, I will. Well, let me go get it because let me just sand this while I'm at it. You go get an oblong punch. You don't trust me to sand. I, I do, sand. but I but I want to sand this. Yeah. Too. I trust you as much as I can throw you, <laughs> so I'm gonna sand it myself. All right, Daddy. Sounds great. Hmm. You guys could only see how entertaining it is here every day. You only get to see an hour. You only get to see an hour of it. I'm surprised anybody's still in this room working with me. They have no other place to go. They've asked. <laughs> hey, can you put the rest of the marketing department somewhere else? Why is that? Uh, the studio is real loud. Oh. <laughs> oh, that could be better. You got a one desk somewhere else. They can't move me outside of this room. We got we got the soundproofing to keep the sound in. They can't move me somewhere else. <laughs> they tried that and they kept on coming, have, having to come back and like, hey, can you turn the music down and possibly also stop singing? <laughs> Customers are complaining on the phones. <laughs> oh, did I say what the... Do we know what the... Number is for this pattern set. Did Abigail put it in the description? I don't know if she did or not. If not, it'll probably be there, but I will find it for you. It is... On this page. 144-10006. $20 retail, $16 wholesale. I do do have some news on the patterns. I think we finally have the digital download thing worked out again. And so some of these you'll be able to um, just download them if you have a way to print them. or take them to Kinko's and have them printed there, or your local print shop. You don't have to use Kinko's. You can use somebody else. Okay, here I go. Whack, whack. Do we sell the head knife? Yes. We, we sell the, a. We sell a head knife. We have an Osborne one. We have some other... Uh, nondescript ones. We are getting this this knife that Denny um, was using. He got We got this in and he started using it and uh, that's the first time I've seen you use one of your other ones in a while. Yeah, th- this that one a, you can't get. This is a custom made knife here. So, yeah, you won't find it on the rack anywhere. Nope. Our Burnley. Burnley. Robert Burnley. Robert Burnley. Thanks, Robert. Uh, can they contact Robert? Uh, I doubt it. I've, I've had that knife for uh, 20 years, probably, or 25 years. Yeah, when you were making he those 100 year old saddles. Yeah, back when I was doing that. <laughs> now, he, he was a, actually a bit and spur maker at a place called Sunburst Bit and Spur in Mount Vernon. But he was also. Just a good machinist. This rifle fits in there. That'd be a pity if it doesn't. To get a smaller rifle. Just right. Nice. There you have it, and I've got the straps made here, and they'll go on just like the other straps. Let's see. Let me turn it around here, and we'll 
look at it on that front camera there. Maybe. When Nick hits one. Oh, yeah. there he did it. He did it. He got to it. <laughs> now I see how you guys have to deal with me not clicking buttons over there. There it is. Got a little spot for our scope. You, here, you want to hold that one? Sure. I'll, pull, I'll hold this other one up. Oh. So we'll put those straps on the same way if you want to see that. Yeah. Denny fought through it on the, yeah. on the yeah. video before. But we'll uh, oil this one up the one the same way. Yeah, I'll burnish the edges and oil it up and put the straps on it. And I'll show it to you Friday. We can show it to you Friday when we're doing this video with Clayton. It'll be similar to this one. We changed, This is the first one that we did, um, but we changed it up a little bit. So these rings that are here uh, are also there. But we'll have the laser pattern for that. Uh, so you could have that, or we'll probably have the PDF as well. So you could... Cut them out yourself. That's the plan for Friday. All right. That'll be cool. What else you got? Anything else? Any other news? Uh, no, I have no news. No news is good news. Sometimes that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. We got through two of the um, different scabbard and cases that, that we have in that pattern pack. Um, so we'll add the shotgun case to the yeah. the video schedule a little bit a little bit later. There's a few other things we already got on the schedule, but we'll add it to there and get it done, and then we'll be able to uh, link to all of yeah. them in that pattern pack. And as far as the bolt, if it was a bolt action rifle, the you know it shows on the pattern. I don't know if you can see on the pattern. I marked it. Yeah, switch it overhead there. Yeah, you can see this is about where the bolt would be. Like that. How do you like my bloody finger? Yeah, it looked good. <laughs> Better you it's than professional, me. Professional, huh? <laughs> Better you than then, me. Yeah, anyway, it'd come like this. <laughs> no, but, it looks, and then there you'd put a little strap across that. That looks really good. Yeah. It well, fit well. Fit well. It did, and those those uh sides are I mean for eighty bucks you can't go wrong. Oh man. Oiled up if if you're into saddle repair, buy a pallet of these things. Yeah. If you do a lot of saddle repair, I mean, <laughs> you can't beat this leather, I don't think. Mm -mm. No, uh, it's it's the best import that I've seen us yeah. seen us have. So, all right, well we'll call it there. Friday, like I said, we'll be doing that um six-pack holder of soda pops or what else you might put in there. To you, it is your choice. I'm not going to tell you what to put in it. I'm just going to show you how we made it. All right. Or at least Clayton will. <laughs> But if you want to, we'll be over on Twitch as we clean up here. And uh, I'll probably set up some live shopping leather for tomorrow because i got to do it by myself because Liz ain't here. I so, feel so bad for you. I knew you would. So you always, hey, I sold what I could sell today. <laughs> did what I could. Maybe I'll throw some up <laughs> tomorrow and we can do some of that. Yeah. And they could get them for $80 you in free shipping. Yeah, bring a side or two of that over here and show it to them because it's nice. I don't know if... You all didn't understand probably at first what I was talking about, but I mean these... When you finish it off like this, that's totally... I mean, somebody look at it and go, that looks like a piece of Herman Oak, colored-wise Herman yeah. Oak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you tooled on any of it yet? No, but I I will try it and let you, got you know some other Friday. Piece. All right, we'll get... Yeah, maybe I've got can, a chunk back there in the... We can stitch a little nameplate on yeah. Denny Lowe there that's hand-tooled, a little, <laughs> nice little flower there. Yeah. <laughs> Something. <laughs> that was one of those, yeah, you're... <laughs> All right. It was. <laughs> it was something. Well, thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you again later this week. See you later.